Hi everyone, welcome to this week's real estate update. I will keep this week's newsletter quick, but first I'll be talking about something that's odd to talk about in the real estate, and then I'll give you the numbers. Okay, as we head into fall and set our clocks back for daylight savings, I thought I'd address a question I get sometimes. And yes, I do get this question. Does daylight savings have any effect on the real estate market? Now on the surface, changing the clocks might not seem to be a big deal for buying or selling homes, but it actually can influence a few key aspects, especially for those actively involved in the market. So let's break down how it plays out. First, as we move back an hour and the sun sets earlier, we lose a chunk of daylight in the evening. So fewer hours to show properties after the typical workday. This means we often see a shift in showing times. Buyers might prefer weekends or earlier afternoon showings so they can view homes in the best possible light. If you're selling, it's a good idea to make your home as inviting as possible for darker evening viewings. Lighting can make a huge difference. Another impact is the psychological effect shorter days have on buyers. With less natural light and colder weather, buyers might feel a bit more pressure to find a cozy, inviting home. If they're motivated to settle in before winter, we sometimes see quicker decisions during this season. So if you're selling, having your home staged to feel warm and inviting is key. And for buyers, this can be a time to benefit from less competition, especially as many people have less time to look at houses heading into the busy holiday season. If you are still out there looking, you may have an advantage when negotiating. So while daylight savings doesn't make or break the market, it can affect the strategies both buyers and sellers use. And understanding these little shifts can help you make the most of the season. So thanks for tuning into this little tidbit. If you have any questions about the market and ready to take advantage of this time of the year, don't hesitate to reach out. Okay, that's my take on the market. Here are the numbers. Starting with single family homes, there are currently 1,153 homes active on the market with an average days on market of 107 days. 41 of those are new in the last seven days. 768 are under contract. 68 have been sold in the last seven days with an average days on market of 72 days. The average sold price was $949,954. Now the condo market. There are 356 condos active on the market with an average days on market of 121 days. 14 of those are new in the last seven days, 104 are under contract, 12 have been sold in the last seven days with an average days on market of 91 days. The average sold price was $747,833. All right, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you wanna work with me, please follow the link in the description. And if you know of anyone who needs help buying or selling, please share this video with them. And of course, feel free to leave any questions in the comments below. I'd love to hear what's on your mind. And as always, have a great rest of your day, have a great weekend, and I will see you next week.